The key to success in the short-term rental space is truly understanding pricing. So today I want to share three pricing strategies that I'm using on my own personal properties to really generate maximum cash flow in the Airbnb space and really drive up our yearly revenues. So to jump straight into it, a lot of hosts out there do just set their nightly rate throughout the year, the same price, they get 100% occupancy or near enough to it, and they're ecstatic with that. Little, little do they know they're absolutely doing themselves out of some serious money by not being more strategic with their pricing and fluctuating it throughout the year and really making the most of the peaks and troughs of their market conditions. So that leads me to, to my first number one tip when it comes to pricing your property to increase your revenue. And that first tip is know your market. Know what events are coming up. Know what seasonality there is in your marketplace and really capitalize on those peak seasons. Essentially, when you look on Airbnb or any other booking platform for, for that matter, there's going to be those properties that always book out first. They're the best value properties. They're the properties that should be $400 a night but are only priced at $200 a night and their calendar is booked six months in advance. There's no need to be this property. You don't win anything by being the best value property. If you know your market and know every Christmas there's not one single property available on the market, then you should be pricing for that. You should be doubling or tripling your nightly rates so that you are absolutely making the most of those peak seasons. Same as if you've got a special event that comes to town. Each year the Cairns Ironman comes to town. The town actually absolutely books out. So knowing when those events are happening, pricing for them will really help increase your revenue. If you're in a market that absolutely books out 10 weeks of the year and you can double your revenue for that 10 weeks, essentially you're going to make an extra 10% of your yearly revenue thanks to essentially you're getting an extra 10 weeks worth of, of revenue because you have doubled your rates for those moments in time. So jump onto to Google, type in events, my, my city, have a look at the school holidays and really start to get strategic about how you price during those busy times as it can really make a, a big difference to your yearly revenue. My second big tip when it comes to pricing short-term properties is you want to incentivize those long-term stays, those stays longer than seven days. You want to be the one getting those bookings. So essentially when you've got an open calendar, you're attractive to everyone. Anyone coming to your location for one week, two weeks, four days, five days, will look at booking your property when you've got an open calendar. As you start to get gaps and you might have a two or a three or a four day gap in your calendar, your property only becomes attractive for that small percentage of people that are coming to your location for that gap. Obviously, the smaller the gap, the more competitive you need to be on price to make sure you're filling it. One strategy that works so well here is encouraging those longer stays. So pricing your property so that anyone that's looking at staying at it for four or five days actually sees value in better value in another property. In another property, You want to drive those people to your competition. And then people looking for staying at a week or longer, we actually want to offer those people a discount and make your property more attractive. So another way of explaining that, say we've got two identical properties, your property's property A and then the competition's property B. We want to price property A that it's just a little bit higher than property B so that property B gets the short-term booking. The people coming for four, five, six days, they're going to be drawn to property B, book that out. But the people coming for seven days, we're actually going to offer a little bit of a discount that will drop property A in line or slightly better value than property B so that we get those longer-term bookings. It's going to mean your calendar is going to book more solid. You're going to have less gaps, and that's going to increase your occupancy. So pricing and discounting, to beat the competition and encourage those longer bookings will give you a, a greater, greater overall yearly yield. My third tip is a little bit more complicated and it's something you're gonna have to really A, B test, trial and error your way through it to work out the perfect pricing of your property. But understand there is this really unique relationship between the nightly rate that you can achieve for your property and the occupancy rate. When we times those two together, that's going to give you your yearly your yearly yields. So a good example of this is if you've got a property that you advertise for $200 a night and it books for 30 nights a month, it sits at 100% occupancy, you're going to generate $6,000 a month. 
where if you have that exact same property and advertise it for $300 a night and it books for 20 nights a month, you're going to generate the same return. You're going to generate $6,000 return. So you could either price your property at 200, get your 100% occupancy, or price your property at 300, drop your occupancy, but then you've got 10 nights available. We can then discount those nights and you might be able to achieve the $200 a night that booked it out 30 nights for the other 10, which would then put you 30% better off. You generate an extra $2,000 of revenue. So play around with the pricing, find the sweet spot and find the sweet spot during your busy times to really maximize your yields. Don't just set and forget, I guess, is the moral of this. Play around with your pricing. Keep in mind that it's your occupancy rate times your nightly revenue that is going to give you your ultimate yearly revenue and the ultimate yearly income of that property. So there's three quick tips on how to maximize your rental yields when it comes to short-term leasing properties. And that's something that we're already implementing in our own properties to really maximize those returns. I hope you found this video interesting. The Airbnb space is a space that we're absolutely loving at the moment. We've seen our returns triple, if not four times, what we've actually been seeing on the resi market. And when you work that out as a net profit, it's often 10 or 12 times the actual net income than, than what we were experiencing in the residential rental market. So certainly an exciting space and it's a space that I look forward to bringing you more content on. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you absolutely subscribe. We look forward to bringing you new videos.